Carne con papas or papas con carne. However you say it, this is a delicious and hearty meal that we love to eat at home. And it's also another one of my mom's specialties. My mom's gonna kind of oversee what I'm doing today just to make sure I don't screw up. Right, mom? Right. <laughs> Cause I like to mix and match and try different things. And that's what I love about this dish and about Tex-Mex or Mexican recipes in general is that they really are pretty easy to make if you have a good recipe. We make it often with picadillo, which is ground beef, but I prefer it with cubed up beef. Today, we're gonna be using sirloin meat. This dish calls for one and a half pounds of meat, two russet potatoes, half an onion, a third of a green bell pepper, one Roma tomato, one bay leaf, two garlic cloves, about two tablespoons of tomato sauce, and enough chicken broth to cover the dish until it cooks to delicious perfection. Folks, I'm ready to get started. I think our oil is nice and hot. We're gonna add our meat. Oh yeah, baby. You notice that it stopped sizzling. That's because the cold meat hit the pan and it cooled off the pan. All right, pan's starting to come up to temperature again. You see how all that moisture is coming out of the meat? That searing action is part of the whole flavor process. So we're ready. There we go. That's what we want to hear. We are ready to start browning this meat. And I have my stove on high, on afterburner high. It's hot. Now I'm going to lower it down a little bit. We just want to get that meat nice and brown a little bit. I like to put onions when the meat's starting to brown a little bit. You can add them earlier or later, however you want to do it's fine. You know, I thought I cut these potatoes kind of small. They don't look so small no more. <laughs> Size of the potato will determine how long it takes for them to get cooked as well. So now we're going to go ahead and add our bell peppers and our tomatoes as well. And away we go, folks. All right, we're going to saute this just a little bit longer. Okay, okay, honey. Let me see how it's going. What's it look like, Mama? It looks pretty good. Potatoes are a little big? <laughs> yes, they're a little big. Killer, killer. I have somebody watching over me. <laughs> Always. All right, we're going to go ahead and put this in here. Oh, I like that sizzly sound. All right, now we're going to add our tomato sauce. It's about two tablespoons. Time that, to add the rest of the that liquid. That smells really good, aren't <laughs> it? I was gonna say the aroma, it's really, really good. Thanks, Mom. Yes. We are ready to add the uh, chicken stock. We had three cups of chicken broth. There's not an exact measurement like I always say. It just depends on your overall dish. All right, now before we put the lid, we're gonna put two teaspoons of OG, the original all-purpose seasoning, salt, pepper, garlic. That's what people have used to make amazing dishes for centuries. That makes this dish amazing too. The only thing we have left to put in our pot is a bay leaf. Mom says this is a big bay leaf to use half, so I'm gonna follow mom's orders. She's been doing this longer than I have. It's time to put the lid on, so I'm gonna grab my lid over here. Right now I'm still on high heat. I'm gonna turn the heat down a little bit. This is gonna cook for about 20 minutes before the potatoes get soft. We're gonna take a quick peek at it, just mainly to show you guys how that's boiling a little fast for me. So I'm gonna turn the heat down just a little bit. I want a nice simmer. A little bit slower simmer brings out the flavor of all the ingredients. When you boil it too fast, it kind of just cooks some of that flavor out. In my opinion, I like it to simmer and everything kind of just blends really, really well and it makes everything delicious. All right, we'll be back in a little while and show you guys the finished dish. Our papas con carne is done. Meat and potatoes, baby. That's the way we roll in my house. I mean, I know I don't say this all the time, but this is another one of our favorite meals. This is one of the ones I grew up with. This is something I could eat two or three times a week. It's just that good, folks. Let's take a look at it. <whistles> While we were relocating the cameras, as soon as this was about done, we added one tablespoon of flour with a little bit of cold water. That thickens up the broth a little bit, makes it a little bit soupier. Makes it really, really nice. See, they smash real quick and easy. That's when your potatoes are perfectly done. Mom's gonna take a bowl too, and she's gonna tell me if it's gonna pass the test or not. More potatoes, I like potatoes. Oh, she likes potatoes, more potatoes. Guys and gals, look at that. Meat and potatoes, baby, all day long. Meat and potatoes. All right, friends, here we go. Mama has a little bowl and I have a big bowl. Let's let mom taste first, see what she says. Um, it's good, I love it. <laughs> Very good. Good stuff. Good stuff. Doesn't everything I make always turn out like really awesome? Yes, yes, yes. 
She don't like to admit it, but it's true. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm gonna taste the meat first. Mmm. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's good. That's one of the things I like about the sirloin meat. It's nice and soft. Has a good beefy taste. I'm gonna try a chunky potato. Mmm. Man, that's good. That is so good. This is a hot, hot, hot jalapeno and serrano salsa. Store-bought H-E-B tortilla is one of our favorite. Fold them up, take a big old bite. Tortilla. Mm. Or you can dip the tortilla like that. Mama, thank you so much for helping me. Thank you for pointing me in the right direction on cooking all these amazing dishes. Guys, I hope you like this video. I hope you get some value out of it. I promise if you try this, you're gonna love it. If you do, tell us what you think about it in the comments. If yours is a little different, go ahead and put it in the comments below. We love to read what other people do too. Don't forget, if you wanna buy some of our Pitmaster OG rub, it is at pitmaster.us. If you wanna kick it up a couple of notches, get the wow, also at pitmaster.us. If you wanna improve your barbecue game, come see us at Pitmaster Class. Dot us. Thanks for watching, folks. Keep the smoke light and make it wow. Alemon, wow. Wow! A lot of people go like that. I, I, I can't go like that. I do it like that. Yes, I know. Just because we do it a certain way and you do it a different way doesn't mean I'm right or you're wrong. Well, actually, you're wrong. No, actually, it doesn't have to be cubed up too small. Make it small. Mama says she likes it small, so we're gonna do it Mama's way today. Oh, I didn't serve myself. It would help if I had something in the bowl, right? <laughs> That's not small. What do you mean by small then? Smaller? Smaller. Yes. Killer. Killer. <laughs>